Hello and welcome. Uh, I wasn't planning on doing a video today, so I've done this quite a bit later than I usually would, so it might feel a bit more rushed than usual. But I have decided that I'm not going to be lazy and I'm going to make one. So today I have another bracket fight for you because that was quite fun to do for me personally. Um, and I feel like it's a good way to maybe give some opinions that I maybe otherwise wouldn't give. Uh, today I've just got Call of Duty games. Uh, we're going to look at the games as a whole, not just multiplayer, not just zombies. I'm sure I'll do zombies, maps, and some maybe a multiplayer game um, in the future. But for now, we're just looking at the games as a whole. This includes campaign, and probably is going to mostly base around the campaign, because the campaign is my personal favourite part. Um, so we're going to start out with Modern Warfare 3 versus World War 2. Well, World War 2 was a shite game. One for three is a game I actually sometimes wish I could go back and play. Whereas World War Two, I would like to never touch again. <laughs> so uh, Modern Warfare Three, uh, Black Ops Three versus Advanced Warfare both were not not my favourites. Uh, Advanced Warfare was dominated by like two guns the entire time. Black Ops Three, uh, definitely had a lot more fun on Black Ops Three. Um, just playing like different. Uh, different specialists using different guns and all that. Like it didn't feel super bad. It felt a bit pay to win by the end because of all the guns they had and all that. But kind of happens. Same with Advanced Warfare though. To be fair, uh, Black Ops Three though the campaign is kind of ass. Advanced Warfare did have a better campaign. The Advanced Warfare campaign is better than that. But I, I've got to go with Black Ops Three for everything else. Modern Warfare versus Modern Warfare Three. Modern Warfare is what made me love Call of Duty. I love Gaz, I love Captain Price, I love Soap, I love all of them in the campaign. Uh, Modern Warfare 3, I mean, I like the campaign. The campaign is very fun. The gunplay in the game felt nice. Uh, some Spec Ops is very fun. Spec Ops Survival is extremely fun. I really do wish Modern Warfare had Spec Ops. Um, but... Modern Warfare 3, the map design was a little bit worse than Modern Warfare. The campaign was a little bit worse. In general, this game is better, but Modern Warfare 3 is not a bad game. It's not, like, the best game in the series, but, I mean, it's, I'm glad they play it. I mean, I've already spoken a lot about Modern Warfare, um, Modern Warfare Back Ops 3. Modern Warfare 2, I mean, adds more depth to each character, adds in new great characters, like, uh, Roach and Ghost and um, what's his name? Is it General Shepard? It's General, isn't it? It's general. His name's Shepard. I'm trying to remember. He's a general. He's not an admiral. Um, so he should be a general. He's yeah, or commander. He's commander in it. Commander Shepard. That sounds right. You think I hated this guy for like ten years? I would know his name, but uh, it's what it is. I really like playing as the Americans in it, um, and Task Force 1 for 1 is also fun. I mean, favela, the favela missions are some of my favourite, and the campaign is infinitely better than Black Ops 3, and also the multiplayer is better than Black Ops 3, and Spec Ops is amazing. But the zombies, Dyer's and Drac, and Black Ops 3 had some really good zombies maps, so I'm probably going to put zombies over Spec Ops, as much as I love Spec Ops. And now I actually have a really hard choice, because for me, uh, COD 4 is way more nostalgic, because I played it a lot more when I was younger, and then Modern Warfare 2 is a lot more, you know, the one that I should like more, because society deems it better. But unfortunately for everyone, I prefer COD 4. Um, simply because I prefer the campaign, and I actually quite like the multiplayer in it. It's basic, but Basic is good sometimes. Now we have Black Ops 4, which didn't have a campaign, versus Ghost, which his campaign was pretty meh. Um, controversial opinion, I actually quite liked Ghost. I played a lot of Infection, and it was very fun. So I didn't really play that much on the map. <laughs> that might be why, because I didn't actually really play the multiplayer that much. Uh, and Extinction's quite fun as well. Uh, Black Ops 4, I mean, Black Ops was fun for a bit, but kind of, I mean, Warzone exists now. Uh... Zombies, was there even zombies in the club there was, wasn't there? And it was so drab. I had nine, or not nine. Was it nine? Five? Nine. It was nine. The Gladiator map, isn't that on Black Ops 4? That was a fun one. But after that, it all kind of went downhill. <laughs> hmm. But 
And the multiplayer was also... I was good at the multiplayer, but it was pretty boring. Infinite versus World at War. I've played quite a bit of Infinite Warfare recently, and I actually quite enjoyed it. Um, but I've definitely got to go with World at War. I mean, zombies... I've only played one zombie's nothing for Warfare, and it's actually pretty good. I can't lie. Infinite Warfare zombies is kind of slept on. Zombies in Space Land is great. But World at War had a better boy player and better campaign. Now, the campaign for Infinite Warfare is not bad, but I feel like it suffers from it being a Call of Duty campaign. You know, if it was like another game franchise, it would probably be better, but because it's Call of Duty, it's kind of seen in a different scope. The multiplayer in it is fine. A bit pay to win again, but you kind of expect that with that, that generation of Call of Duties. Black Ops vs. Ghosts, well, I said I liked Ghosts, but I love Black Ops. Um, I mean, the campaign is outstanding. The characters are outstanding. Black Ops is just a goated game. And Black Ops 2 is also a goated game. Black Ops, these two, uh, these four games are the best four out of the card franchise. I'm glad that I didn't have to make any tough decisions and get rid of um, any super early. But... Now is another tough decision. Like how these two were a tough decision, these two are a tough decision. And I've personally go with Black Ops 2. Black Ops was great, the campaign was great. I probably like the Black Ops campaign more. Even though you can definitely say the Black Ops 2 campaign is better, you know, the multiple choices and all that. I prefer the Black Ops 1 campaign. I prefer Black Ops 1 zombies. I mean, you've got maps like. Kino is amazing. Five is amazing. Um, Shangri-La is all right. Moon's kind of shit. Um, what would you call it? Ascension's okay. There's another one, isn't there? Moon, Ascension. Shangri-La and... Oh, Call of the Dead. Call of the Dead's pretty good. Uh, and obviously got the legacy ones, which both games have. So I'm not really going to mention, like, the recent and yeah, the Um But it's just Black Ops 2 was so, so good. Um, and I'm not even kind of really touched on the multiplayer. The multiplayer was probably the best it's ever been. And I haven't mentioned this in any of the other ones. Uh, I remember watching Call of Duty League. I did that as well with Ghosts. And I remember, I think it was Proofy getting an ace. That was kind of just insane. Um... But I really loved Ghost because Optic was Scump, Clayster, Proofy, and Nature, and I really loved that floor. But that's kind of neither here nor there because Black Ops 2 was, is really good in terms of what I put. And now we've got to think about. Which ones are we prefer in the COD 4 or Black Ops 2? Do I want simple and basic, you know, clean classes, you know, an MP5 with a silencer that is, like, your primary. Your secondary is an M1911. That's, like, that is the class setup. You get three parks, you get an age, you get a flashbang, go kill things. Or you get the Black Ops 2 where it's pick 10, you get different wild cards, different perks, different amount of perks, different weapons, you can get rid of your secondary, you can have a knife, you can have a blue knife, you can have a crossbow. And I've got to go with Black Ops 2. The sense of community on Black Ops 2 was outstanding. Um, like, this this game is what made me really love Call of Duty. I was able to make friends, I was able to just have fun, and that's the most important thing with the Call of Duty game. I'm not playing it to be serious. You know, I might take the campaign a bit serious, but I'm playing my I'm not playing it serious. I'm playing to have fun. I'm playing to make friends. And Black Ops 2 was really good for that. COD 4 was also good for that, and that's why it's number two. If I had to rank them, like, in total, it would be Black Ops, COD 4, Black Ops 1, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, Ghosts, World at War, Black Ops 3, Infinite Warfare, Black Ops 4, <laughs> Advanced, 
World War Two, and this isn't including obviously that Modern Warfare 2019, Cold War, or Vanguard. Three games that are okay, but I don't really want to. I'll happily put in Modern Warfare and Vanguard, and then Modern Warfare Two when it comes out this year. But Vanguard can fuck off. I know Vanguard. I meant Cold War. Cold War's Cold War's good. It's like good. Modern Warfare's excellent, and Vanguard shit. That's that's the ranking for them. But let me know what you would uh, what you would rank as your highest in the comments below, and I'll see you next time. Peace.